We need regular breaks to focus the best, to pay attention, to fully take in the information that's in front of us and the situation that's in front of us. But where it becomes a reasonable adjustment is that if you are autistic or have a learning disability, you have different needs. You have different sensory needs. So you may need that break to go for a walk or to go to the toilet to escape or to go to a different environment to escape or to do some sort of self-stimulatory activity to sensory regulate, you know, to put some music on, to put your, your glasses on that, to darken the world, to go sit in your car, to go and eat something which has got a lot of sensors around it. And if you don't have that break, as day goes on, you may not be able to process as well. You may not be able to contribute as much or you may be able to manage and mask throughout the entire day, but when you get home, you're really quite spent and you're quite ill as a result. That's the thing you may not realize. You may not realize that by missing those breaks, you're actually kind of destroying the person's mind later on, that they may hide it because we want to push through, but it ultimately can mean that we are masking, we're pushing ourselves beyond our limit, and later on we may break a little bit or a lot. Um, that's, that's the hidden kind of parts. You know that there's many other weak reasons someone needs a break. You know, it could be someone needs that break to take that insulin in private or to have the sugar to regulate their blood sugar levels. Or many of us may have joint or muscle disorders or, you know, things like arthritis or EDS, which may mean we need to move around, have those natural movement breaks. You wouldn't want to do that necessarily in a classroom because it means you're standing up while everyone's in a meeting or stretching in front of strangers. That's quite strange. So you may be waiting for that natural break. You may not put this down as a reasonable adjustment, actually. You may not put it down as a reasonable adjustment because I think it's it's normal to expect regular breaks because humans don't function on no breaks at all. But I think it's natural for people to not always tell you that they have a reasonable adjustment around needing a break because breaks are needed as humans. Uh, and so they may be hanging on there with their entire body in physical pain because they haven't had that break or their blood sugar levels dropping or any number of things that I can't personally relate to and you can't personally relate to. That's why rather than trying to understand someone's position, we have to just do some certain things as standard. And standard is to, um, m maybe the day is dynamic, maybe you can't have that break, but it's to make for certain that everybody in that room that's part of your team on the day is okay with skipping that break, is okay with moving the time of that break. You'd be very mindful that that break hasn't happened. You know, there's many days where I, I cannot have a break. I'll just keep on going all day. There's other days where I'm, I'm waiting on edge for the break because I'm not feeling too well. But again, I just think that's, that could be quite normal. But for, for you know, some of us, we can push through. Others really can't, or we're wrecking their brains later on. People need breaks. I, 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 